What's up guys, come shop with me at the Pottery Barn Outlet in Joliet, Illinois. Let's go in and check out what they have in stock. This outlet had everything from Pottery Barn to West Elm, Pottery Barn Kids, Pottery Barn Teen, all of those lines. Immediately from walking in, I was shocked by the amount of product that they had in store. Everything from sofas, home decor, soft goods, chairs, larger pieces like beds and dining tables, etc. This was the view right when we walked into the store. A couple things that are important to note, just because things are being sold at this outlet doesn't mean that they were damaged. Some of these items are canceled orders or people change their minds. Only a handful of items I saw were actually damaged. They also offered delivery through a third party service to your house for $180. I started off going through all of the home decor, everything from baskets to blankets, pillow covers, candles, and they even had some blankets as well. Strangely, there was a huge section of luggage. Who knew that they even sold luggage? There were so many soft goods that it was overwhelming to take everything in, but I did absolutely love this one tray and there were a couple other accessories. Oh, look at this dough bowl that I saw. I thought that that was stunning. Then I decided to look at the larger pieces of furniture. This day bed was in the kids section, but of course you could use it in a playroom or somewhere that you needed like a guest room, but also living space type of situation. And then there was a lot of dressers and bedside tables in the kids section that you could use both for a nursery or for an adult bedroom to point out this West Elm dresser because it's not just Pottery Barn stuff here. They also have West Elm and I wanted to show the deals that they have. So what I did was show you guys online that this sells for $13.49 for West Elm and then with the 40% off they were offering, this would be $719 at the outlet. Which brings me to an incredibly important point that I wanted to make, which everything at the outlet was either 40 or 50% additional off of the marked price that you saw on the item. So that made everything incredibly affordable. And I was very impressed by how many large scale furniture pieces they had. Here I am in the kids furniture section where they have these weird bed dresser combinations I'm not a fan of, but if you're in the market for one, cool. This was a queen bed, again, in the kids department, but you could use this in any bedroom in your house. From there, I was shocked at the large scale amount of headboards that they sold. This whole section was just individual headboards, which were an additional 50% off. I also loved the bedside table slash nightstand section of the store. I'm a little bit of a nerd about matching nightstands and they had a ton ranging from this sort of rustic French look to a more modern look that you can see I'm looking at here. Something that surprised and delighted me was that most of the bedside tables they did have pairs of, so you wouldn't just be set with one odd, you know, nightstand. And they did have many matching pieces from bedroom sets, but please let me caution you into not purchasing an entire matching bedroom set because it looks very, I don't know, 1992. This individual nightstand was a great restoration hardware dupe, but again, there was only one of this particular nightstand. I also love this dresser, and then I was shocked to see that they even have a ton of bathroom vanities in stock, some of them with the counter and sinks, and some of them just the actual vanity. But there were so many that were beautiful, and again, great deals just like everything else here at the outlet. This next black one that I'm gonna show you, I was in love with and I still haven't gotten over. I think I need to put it somewhere, just not sure where. The lighting department was epic. I originally thought that the lighting was only what I saw here hanging from the ceiling, but they also had stacks and stacks of boxes all marked with what was inside of them for an additional 60% off. These were some open box deals that they had as well. So they had everything from chandeliers to wall sconces, bathroom sconces, outdoor sconces, everything you can imagine. Onto coffee tables, I thought this was a perfect restoration hardware dupe before I got into tons and tons of armchairs. It was basically a sea of chairs and I didn't get into all the details because I don't need any chairs. But I thought this one looked super nice and classy, but here were a ton more consoles and coffee tables from all of their brands and ranging in style from traditional to modern. So I thought they had a really nice variety and most of them were incredibly high quality and ranging in size and scale. 
I was definitely eyeing these marble coffee tables. They were 900 plus an additional 40% off. This is the Amelia Media Console from West Elm, which is a stunner and very neutral. And here's another console from Pottery Barn, I believe. Then we got into the dining table and chair section. They did have dining tables. I would say they had like seven to 10 dining tables. I absolutely love the live edge with the gold base. Bonus points for anyone who can tell me who the blogger that has those dining chairs in their old dining room is. Leave me a comment down below if you know. They had a huge mirror and art section, everything stacked up. And then I love this absolutely modern, brand new wall shelf that they have. Definitely mimics something from CB2. Perfect for a small and modern home. Just a quick hello from me in this mirror. We finished off our outlet shopping extravaganza by looking at the office furniture that they had. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. This is me checking out and I will chat with you guys next time. Bye.